Better Fish Tank, Volume 2. Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Fry Fry Friday. Today will be part two of our beta tank build. So just as a recap, I had this five and a half gallon tank and hood. Maybe I paid five or six bucks for it. I got it in a deal with a bunch of other tanks. Um, we have this black gravel that I bought. It had that corner sponge filter in one of my tanks just waiting to be cycled. And uh, took some anacris from a tank and some dwarf sage that I got from Mike from Arizona. Green Tree Farms, I think, is his website. I will uh, put a link down in the description. And then we have some crypts. I don't know which crypts, um, but I got them at the local Guppy Club auction. The South Jersey Guppy Group that I went to last week. Just move that out of the way for you. Come on. Uh, and I got a pack of four and I gave two to a friend and I put two in here and now what we're going to do is we're going to take the moss and some of that other plant that's in here which is water sprite I almost forgot the name and our new he's not new anymore I guess he's about a month old um, koi placat male betta that I got from Susie from New Jersey Betta Hatchery. Links to her Facebook page will be in the description below. She uh, breeds fantastic guppies that sell on Aquabid and other places for ridiculously high amounts of money. Um, but that said, uh, we're going to move him over and check out his new home. So stay tuned. All right, fishy folks, there he is in his new gigantic home. It's like a mansion to him. He's, he's chilling back in the in the Java moss. You can see him back there, but <coughs> he looks fantastic, of course. And uh, let's talk a little bit about Betta Care. I've seen Betta's kept in everything from those tiny little plastic containers they come in to big vases or tanks or what have you I get asked the question a lot uh, how many guppies can I put in a so-and-so size tank well how many guppies me personally can keep is different than maybe you or someone else based on your uh, level of expertise with keeping fish and bettas are the same way bettas don't like a lot of current so this tank was pretty much perfect for them because there was no current but it was only two and a half gallons so you know somebody who doesn't have much um, knowledge with keeping fish may keep a betta in a small small tank and never change water and then you know what happens fin rot and then you know what happens death so we don't want that so you know that two and a half gallon tank i did water changes probably every couple days not a lot you know maybe i took out half a gallon and added half a gallon um, and I didn't overfeed you know I fed him a couple of flakes a day that's all he needs look how small he is if you have a betta and you have him in a very small vessel of water as long as you're changing water he's probably going to be fine you can also put him in a big tank the other question I get can you put a bed in a community tank it's your fish. You can do whatever you want. Whether it works or not is a whole other story. Some people have success. Some people don't. It kind of depends on the betta and what else is in the tank. In this particular case, I would never put him with someone else because he's never been with another fish. He uh, was born and bred here in New Jersey. He's a big Bruce Springsteen fan. Um, you know, he likes cheesesteaks and uh, pizza and good bagels but you know other than that he's a jersey boy who's gonna stay alone in his tank because that's probably what he likes best now we got to name him um wow look how stunning his fins look that's a pretty boy all right guys here's what i want you to do submit your name suggestions 
I have a bunch listed from the first video I made. We'll take the names, and in my next update video of his tank, we will vote. And I will let you guys name him. He is a male placat, koi placat betta from New Jersey Betta Hatchery. Susie Graham is the proprietor of said business. She is spectacular. Check out her Facebook page. Buy some cool bettas from her. She's at all the local fish club auctions. And uh, yeah, check her out. So we got to name him. Uh, what else can I say about the betta tank? Oh, I mean, bettas are pretty easy to care for as long as you keep clean water. And that kind of goes for almost every fish, right? Um, oh, a heater. Mike, there's no heater in here. I mean, there is a heater, it just wasn't plugged in. And the reason why is room temperature in here is about 75 or 76 degrees. He doesn't need much more. So I heat the room, not the tank. But if he's in your living space without a heated room like I have, you know, most houses aren't 75 degrees, right? Most houses are 70, 68, then you're going to need a heater to bring it up a little bit. So basic beta tank care, a small filter with very low flow uh, and a heater to keep the, the, the water at the right temperature. Other than that, you know, plants, they like plants, soft plants, nothing uh, that can, you know, cut us in. Some of the plastic plants are usually, uh, can be uh, too hard and scratch them. So I would uh, stay away from those. I happen to like real plants the best. There are some pretty easy plants out there that you can get that you don't need, um, you know, CO2 and all that stuff. Like, none of my tanks have that. And, uh, you know, my plants are doing pretty good. Alright, I think that's it for the beta tank. We will do an update video in a week or so where we name him. And then, uh, you know, I'll show you this tank in my fish room updates. So we can see the plants grow and him grow. And any changes I make in the beta tank. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, why don't you hit that notification bell? Don't smash it. It's, it's pretty tender. You know, it's not as robust as the subscribe button, which that you should smash. But the notification bell, you just want to tap, you know, gently. Maybe a little bit of a uh, point. Uh, and this way, if I do an impromptu live stream or I release a new video, you know, you'll get notified and you can watch it. We had a pretty decent live stream last night. It was pretty fun. And uh, I may continue to do that on Wednesdays. I'm not really sure yet. But uh, all right, guys. That's it for now. Again, if you uh, have any questions or want to purchase any of my fish, please email me at michaelsfishroom at gmail.com. And I will respond to you as quickly as I can. So everyone, have a great day. Have a great Friday, Friday, Friday. See you soon. Good morning, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday. Let's move this out of the way. You know what would have been nice if I planned this ahead of time, but no, I'm a dumbass, so let's just start over. Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Fry... I don't know. Better Fish Tank Update, Volume 2. Better Fish Tank Update.